Greetings and salutations, viewers. I, Eric J. Chucky, we're playing Final Fantasy VI, my favorite game of all time. And we're about to head into that iconic opera scene. So, let's get it done. Man, I've already forgotten what place to get this guy. Ah, you again! I read that letter. Setzer's coming to steal her. He'll probably appear right at the climax of scene one. He loves an entrance. Right. If we could only grab him then... Dear me, no. You'll ruin the performance. I'll lose my job. Then your history. This is simply horrid. I want the performance to be a success. But I don't want Maria to be abducted. I love little background details, Celeste reacting and stuff. We'll let him grab her. We use Celeste as a decoy. After she's abducted, I'll follow him right to his airship. Are you mad if something should happen to Maria? That's why the decoy will hide Maria somewhere safe. Come again. You said she looks like Maria, right? Now, just a minute. Celeste will be our Maria. She'll lead us to the airship. Brilliant! <laughs> I just knocked a bunch of shit off my desk laughing at that. Well, wait, I I'm a former general, not some opera floozy. <laughs> me, me, do, re, mi, fa, <coughs> Maria. Not bad, Celeste. <laughs> Revenge will be mine. I'll pretend to be Setzer and foil their little plan. If I'm being honest, I forgot what voice I used for all trips too, because I did something that was different from Kefka, because it's usually pretty close to Kefka, but whatever. Y'all aren't here for consistent voice acting. Let's get ready. Celeste, it's showtime. Ah, oh, come on, read it. I like that fucking conductor, he's jamming. And the very Muppety band members. Among the East and West, don't ask me how you got down there so fast, was growing worse by the day. Draco, a soldier from the West, thinks of his love, Maria, back at home. Music here is really outstanding. Some of the tiling on that cloud backdrop, however, not so much. All right, listen to these voices here. Notice how they match up with the words? Oh, Maria, beloved, do you hear my 
my words whispered in your ear as if I were by your side. <clears throat> so I ordinarily would be singing this whole damn opera, but because this is a retranslation patch, I don't know the words. I'm sure a lot of stuff is similar, um, but I, I don't. I, I know the original one. I could sing the original one. I'm sure you'd all be delighted to find that, but um, I don't know this one as well. I'm going to the dressing room. Is everything okay? Got right ahead. Uh, why is everyone singing? See, I, I'm pretty sure in uh, Legends of Localization, they mentioned that's not what Saban was saying there. But whatever. He's kind of a, a doof. Off limits, please turn around. Oh, look at all these switches. Those might be handy later. Can't go in there. <coughs> Smart to familiarize ourselves with the um, layout here. You know, you never know what could happen at an opera. And honestly, like... Uh, I like that. Do, 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 These are the general seating. Now those are locked up. There's a ticket booth. Performance underway. Lock is blushing. Aye, 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 is that you? Have you always been that pretty? Lock, why did you help me escape back there? I was not there to protect someone when she needed me, and I couldn't let that happen again. Somewhere inside you were saving her. Am I just her replacement? That, that the ribbon uh, suits you. On with the show. This is a big scene in which Maria senses that something's happened to Draco. You better check the score one last time. Okay, so we are going to read the score. Usually I wouldn't. Oh, my hero. Uh, I'm the darkness. Oh, did they not change anything that's actually the leave-in lines? Uh, must my final pass. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's read that again. Oh, my hero. I'm the darkness. Must my final vows. Okay. So, must I, or must my. So that's still pretty close. I, I like what they did there. Um, they retranslated the opera in the Game Boy Advance version, too. I have only played through that one once, I believe. Okay, and this, this is Celeste. Like, you can't open the menu here, but... They weren't kidding. She looks a lot like Maria. Apparently. We don't ever actually see Maria, I don't think. The Western armies were defeated. Maria's cap castle captured by the East. Forced to wed Prince Rowles, Maria still thinks only of Draco as she gazes at the stars at night. The next line is, Oh, my hero. This rhyme schema actually works a little bit better. Um, I remember in the original game there was a lot of... Uh, almost missed that because I was talking. <coughs> there was a lot of like kind of forced rhymes, but here it works. You brightly from afar, 
the text showing up <coughs> isn't exactly right. But. So we can mess that up. Um, I don't want to go through all this again, so I won't. But uh, what happens basically is... Come, Maria. Dance with me. Um, the audience like gets confused and gets upset and we get kicked out and have to restart the opera. <laughs> Now, pay attention to this scene here. Just the way the visuals run. Um, there's some parallels with a future scene we will see. Prince Riles is looking for his dance partner. I like to think this is actually the Chancellor Figaro. Please leave the past behind. Our kingdom is part of the East now. And this is what he does when Edgar's not around, which is Spades and Operas. So yeah, it's stuff like that that eventually led to the really big, you know, music video level intros and stuff from Final Fantasy X-2 and, you know, these amazing cinematic explosive displays I mean one could argue that kind of stuff because this opera was written for the game obviously and it, it's not a full opera but you know the, the music the score that they made digitized vocals for in a couple of different um, local ranges uh, you could argue it's what led to you know stuff like KDA and um, Pentakill and stuff in uh, League of Legends you know with these music videos and these songs and all about this video game. Well, there's our, those are about League of Legends, but, you know. Well done, Celeste. Oh, shit, it's a note. I owe you one, so I'm going to jam up your opera, Ultros. Oh, better tell the impresario. Hurry a little ass along there, come on. What? I like how the music goes in time. It's just cool, the parallels of these scenes. The Western survivors attack! Impossible! Attack, they say. Wait. here so I won't sing.
And then they both sing together. How cool is that? Come on, man. This is so neat. Like, it's from 94, so it's not as epic as, you know, you'd see in other games. But how might he disrupt the opera? With that? <laughs> but let's see if Maria can shrug this off. Ah, this is heavier than I thought. It will take me exactly five minutes to drop it. We have a second to lose. Talk to the man in the room at the far right. He'll help you get up there. It's as good as done. Okay, so once again, as I said before, we can fuck up. And we're not gonna, because I don't want to do this all over again. It's neat, and I have done it before. The impresario asked me to have you press the far right switch. Those other switches do stuff that will fuck up the opera. And I promise you, later in the game, we will press the switches. Just not right now. It will be way later in the game. Ticking little clock down there. Now hopefully we can get through everything quickly. And this is another good reason why I didn't bring Cyan along, because if speed is a factor, Goisha, wow, what a fucking name. Uh, we don't want to be waiting for his um, Bushido to charge up. Oh, fuck, I forgot they did that. I believe the, the guy in the middle calls reinforcements if you don't kill him first, yeah. See how much time it's eating up? We've well, got to get to Ultros. This is some stupid bullshit. Okay. Cool. Magic points. It's what everybody loves. going to have Edgar use his drill. Good. And all these high potions are nice too. Uh, when I was little, I knew they were rats when you fought them. Oh, we got a new blitz! Ooh, that's nice. Uh, full disclosure, I had a fight in between the last episode and now. Um, we got a couple of magic spells. I think Edgar leveled up. Uh, but I knew there were rats when you fought them, but I thought they were like little gnomes, I guess is probably the best thing to say. When they were on the little catwalks. And like now I can obviously see they're rats or mice or what have you, but... They definitely, uh, it took me a long time to, to get the visual there. Heck. I know he doesn't have anything, it took it. Is there a treasure up here? Interesting pincher attack. We're gonna mug that guy. We are going to attack him too, you know? Um, we'll just use the drill. Hmm, cutting it close, guys. Yeah, if we don't get there in time, that is also just a penalty. Like, we, we, we counts as dying. And I think you can mess up three times and they'll reschedule the opera three times it just boots you back outside and you start over before you have an actual game over but we made it with a minute to spare <laughs> rat good now the opera won't be ruined shit spoke too soon Disaster. If the two heroes flatten the operas are over, then who'll win the girl? You 
Neither Draco nor Rouse will save Celeste. I, Locke, the world's premier adventurer, will save her. Oh, yeah, what awful acting. Silence! You are in the presence of octopus royalty. A lowborn thug like you could never defeat me. <sighs> Might as well make the most of this. Music! Fantastic. Long time no see. You changed. Did you miss me? This is kind of nice, too, because, uh... Oh, actually, let's, um... Is that gonna work? No, of course not. This controller's hard to put blitzes in. Well, the computer's hard to put blitzes in. Alright, so, um... Well, heck, let's use, uh... No, Siren's not working yet. Oh, but he's weak to fire, so let's cast fire on him. Now Saban can cast fire, so let's do it. Let's get Ramu, Rama in there, whichever you like. Oh my god. Oh shit. Get out of here, Edgar. Oh yeah, Locke's blind. Hell. Okay. Yup. Impal, buddy! Frog song? I was gonna turn, one of his, I was turn Locke into an imp. Um, that's okay. I think I can still use item on people and we're going to heal up saving. <laughs> Get the heck out of there. Level 3 Confuse. Okay, so there's level X spells, and what those mean is if your level is a multiple of that number, you're susceptible to it. And that's both of them, and Edgar just jumped. Oh my god. I wanted the difficulty! I asked for this! He just raging fisted himself. Oh my god, and Locke got hit with that. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. We're gonna, uh, high potion. Okay, he's leaving again. Well, at least when he raging fists himself, he cancels the confusion. So, that's something. It's a start. Hit the octopus. Uh, acid rain, that doesn't sound good. Sabin's probably down again. That sucks. Ouch. Uh, oh, oh. Okay, good. I don't know how he fought, because he's not supposed to be able to fight, but he did it. So, uh, let's get another phoenix down. Cast it on Locke, please. No, you cast it on both of us, didn't you? I don't think I can use tools when I'm imped. I can't. I can still jump, though. It's gonna nerf the hell out of my damage. Oh, I should have healed some bit. Some bit. See, I used to call him that before I knew it was saving. Oh man, he's level 3 confused again. <laughs> uh, heck. Oh, but he only cast it on... No, he cast it on everyone. Look at that crappy damage. I know, God Variety Octoboys. Oh good, Sabin's casting sleep. On himself. It's fine. Did we already cast? We did. Okay. Good God. Ugh. Okay, you know what? You use that. It's got a cat who's getting into all kinds of shit. He just is in love with, uh, no. Well, it's just him. Okay. That's fine. Um, I cannot really... Edgar could use, uh, High Potion. Cure magic would be amazing here. Okay, Saban's back up. Uh, you've got tools, hit the drill. Okay. Um. Have fun! I am, actually. I like the mechanics of this game, and I like it when things are tense. 
Oh, counterattack. Perfect. Using Acid Rain again. Okay. Um, who's taking what damage? I was just saving again. Alright. <clears throat> Let's keep his health up. He's imping someone. Oh, it's saving. Okay, so he's not going to be able to do that, uh, that punch rush move, but at least he's not confused or dead or... Oh, and he attacked still. That's cool. Uh, attack, I guess. You little wimpy boy. What an unlucky day. Adios! Oh my god, we made it through. I, I got stuck on that fight a lot when I was young. I got all too gill for it. Just a darn minute. Bravo! What a performance. Setsu! I'm a man of my word, music man. I'm taking Maria. That's him? What a reversal, thinking she's Locke's new queen. Maria is instead nabbed by Setzer. What fate lies in store for her? Stay tuned for part two. Honestly, I never really noticed this before, but my sensor voice is pretty similar to my Edgar voice. I'm sure it'll all come out in the wash. I'll deal with you in a minute. Or maybe I can give him a different voice, hmm? Would that be fun? You know, um, back in the day when I first called him Jack, it was like a joke on Black Jack. But uh, there's another Jack who is a captain of a ship that has come out since then into the public consciousness. Let's trot that one out. What a performance, Celeste. Enough already. But now, the real show begins. It's time for Act 2. Where's Setzer? He's coming. Who are you? You don't know Maria. Setzer, we need your help. We have to get a vector. We need this ship to get there. Look, if you're not Maria, I don't want you aboard. Wait. We were told your ship is the finest vessel in the world. And that you were the world's most notorious gambler. I'm the King of Figaro. If you cooperate, you'll be well rewarded. Uh, if you have Cyan here, he also talks about how he's the retainer to the Lord of Doma. Come here. Yeah? I don't misunderstand me. I'm still not sure if I'm going to help you. But we do have run of his airship for a moment. Look at that fucking sprite. He looks so fucking cool. Okay. This is Setzer's airship. It has got blackjack tables, it has got a roulette wheel, it has got poker tables. It's got cool plush purple couches. It's got this guy I told you about, unequipped and party members, those not now in your party. I'm gonna do a cool little step pose afterward. Don't think there's anything down here now. There is this room with another table. And we can go in here and see some of the ship's engines. And then here's the room we were just in. Since there's a private room, I suppose. So, um, last episode I mentioned that there's a little problematic in today's climate. We've got an item shop as well. Uh, we used a lot of high potions. 
12. Yeah, let's do that. Phoenix Downs. Let's go ahead and... Whoa, 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 whoa. Remedy. Just in case. Smoke bombs are okay. The health themselves are okay. It's a minute time. And then this guy heals you. Go, customers. Need any refreshment? I don't know why he's goofy. Anyway, so. Um, obviously, you can't... You can't just steal a lady and expect she's going to be, like, your your lover. That's not cool. Here we are on the, the deck of the ship, cruising through the skies. Very neat. Well, what happens if you... Okay. Very steep motor. So it's nothing that's, like, I don't know, terabad, but it's just a leftover from a forgotten time. Oh. Thanks to the Empire, business has been awfully slow lately. It's not just you. Many towns and villages have been smashed by the Empire. The Empire is also totally rotten. It's using magic to enslave the world. The Empire and my kingdom were allies, until recently. The Empire will end up owning you. The Empire. Evil? We all hate the Empire for the same reason. That's why, you know, you're even more stunning than Maria. What? Enough. If you, <clears throat> if Celeste becomes my wife, I'll have another one. What? Are you crazy? We haven't any choice. <laughs> yes, it's settled. But I have a condition. I think they could have retranslated this better. We'll decide with the coin toss. Notice she went to talk to Edgar there. If it's heads, he'll help us. If it's tails, I'm yours. Well, Mr. Gambler? Oh, fine, I accept. Listen to yourself, Celeste. You can't become his wife. You just can't. Ready? Heads. I win. Now, honor your part of the bargain. How unusual. A coin. With identical signs. That coin. Big brother, don't tell me. I think you've been hustled, Mr. Gambler. But that's part of the game now, isn't it? <laughs> How low can you get? I love it. All right. I'll help you. Gambling against the Empire, huh? Nothing to lose but my life. I haven't felt so excited in years. My life is a chip in your pile. Ante up. <clears throat> this unwieldy looking ship really moves. Are you sure it'll stay in the air? When things fall, they fall. Life's a game of chance. It's all a matter of fate. The ship's going to stick out like a sore thumb. Better land some distance away. Right. I'll wait on board in case of an emergency. Yet another cool scene. Um, this was kind of the point in the game where, like, you get that feeling of shit, you know? These searchlights in the background as we fly off into the sunset. Uh, the late sunset, the, the dark and ominous sunset. <laughs> or maybe it's more of a sunrise, I don't know. That could also be the glow of the city. If you uh, if you live in a in the country that's near enough to a city, you'll often see that kind of... They're certainly not red and ominous, but everything does seem underlit compared to, you know, the, the darker skies out away from town. So, 
if you look at our mini map, we're finally on the Imperial Continent. Um, there are several towns on this continent, none of which we need to go to right now. Um, they do have lines and stuff. We can explore them in a bit. It's a lot of overland walking, and I don't really want to do that right now. Um, because it's not... It's not going to be different enough, if it's different at all, from when we get a chance to visit it later. And I'm going to want to be doing more walking around later anyway. But, there is a place I want to check out here. Which is, of course, the town nearby, and the airship again. We can go on here. I think Celeste has been unequipped for the opera, so... We'll double-check that before um, heading out. Talk to Setzer. What's going on? The Empire's becoming paranoid. Looks like he has some intel on things. Basically telling us to get out there and you know, do our shtick. Okay. Albrook. Yeah, she got unequipped there. White cape, we love that on her. And the hero's ring, was that it? Yeah. Okay. Does she have an Esper? No. Get catch she back on there. Very close to getting float. We get keep getting that magic up. The Empire will hang anyone who opposes it. Three cheers for the Empire. This is Albrook, the occupied city. If I were rewriting Final Fantasy today, um, there's not, like, I'd punch up the script some. Uh, it's a great script, but it does suffer from limitations of the time, and as ambitious as it is, it's still held back by when it was made. Uh, a bit, I feel. Um, like, if you compare it to the last few Final Fantasies that have come out, even the one that came after this one, there's... We've already got all that stuff. There's limitations, you know, it's not as deep and complex. And a lot of that has to do with, like, character limits and, you know, um, translation stuff and things like that. So, it is what it is. I'm not trying to crap on the game. Obviously, it's my favorite game. But uh, one of the things I would change is the way the whole Setzer Maria thing is depicted. Um, I would have it be a little bit more like uh, Setzer... You know, um, Setzer and Maria have this affair that they've been having, and it's caused Maria to miss shows, and Setzer doesn't give a shit about the impresario and the opera and what they need. You know, his his love for Maria, or his lust, perhaps, is so strong. Um, because we want Setzer to be a scallywag, you know, but he's, like, stealing a lady and going, no, you're my wife. That's <laughs> stupid, on top of being, you know, untoward so um yeah I, I think that's more what i would do than like because we don't get a point where we really get that explained why is sets are like this we don't get a point where yeah i'm not saying like an apology but like i don't know i i guess you know i mean it's fine how it is it is but if i were rewriting it today that's a change i would make there's one other change in this game I would make, because a joke that is very Japanese and lands very poorly on American ears, and is questionable enough in Japanese ears, I would change that too. We'll talk about it when we get there, I'm sure. Um, but it's not terrible. I think this one handled it okay. Just the subtext that's really dumb. If you gloss over it, and, you know, don't think about it too hard, you know, then it's fine. But it's, we, we've analyzed this game up and down and left and right since 1994, so, you know, you get your memes. Like, uh, how everyone complains about Ross being the worst character on Friends, or how, me personally, it was really hard for me to watch um, How I Met Your Mother after I watched it the first time, and, like, be cool with uh, Ted Mosby's behavior, because he was kind of a skis. Um, it's the things you don't really think about so much in the moment, but, like, in hindsight, with the ability to reflect, or or upon repeat viewing or experiencing, you kind of go, eh. um, But at the end of the day, it's just a video game, and we should all really just relax. They say there's something valuable to the East. The Empire built a base there, and no one may enter. That is also true. 
We have to bribe the troopers to do business here. That's with the Empire. You get the... the Empire. Vector, capital of the Empire, is at the center of this continent. Just neat how we can go through all these. Like, you can walk through all these houses too, and we will, but, uh... I'm a scholar of magic. Monsters on this continent are only weak to magical power. We got a fucking high potion. I don't think we can get to those ones back there. We've got an inn. We might as well look around here. Anything neat? Not really. <clears throat> Everything belongs to the Empire. You're in the way. Get. Starver is off limits. Oh, I just walked past you. The harbor is off limits. Loud and clear. Let's check out what kind of armor they have here. Twisted headband, priest's mitre. Um. Oh, twelve point five bonus to maximum MP. Hells to the yeah. Let's get two. Wow, they're better than what Edgar and Saban have too. Woof, that's our money, dudes. Um, but that's really all we need. Let's grab four then. Holy shit. It's a little upstairs room here. Emperor Gestal himself asked me to do his portrait. What if he doesn't like it? That makes sense. Probably shouldn't try to steal from people. You'll find some good weapons and items in Zen and Miranda. Those are the other cities um, on the continent. And he's not wrong. There are good items and weapons there. Uh, relics. Oh, we have an amulet. Everything else we already have. Is there anything we can sell? I don't think so. Shurikens? No, they're not worth much. Man, yeah, not really. Mm, boo. Well, let's go ahead and equip these uh, priest smiters. Yeah, better defense. Now, mind you, a miter is like a pope hat. So, this pope hat is magically enchanted. It has to be. Look at that. That's nice. And it gives us... Well, see there, we lose out on our vigor, speed, and stamina for the twist headband. And the hit point buff from that. Uh, Locke has got 502 hit points right now. That was really helpful earlier. With the miter, it brings him down to 447. That's not terrible. Same thing here. What does she have? 498. And with the miter... Her evade goes down too. 443. You know, I'm going to keep the green berets on those guys. You may notice there's some cool background music going on. That's because the building we're in is part of the bar. Check this out. Music got louder. Small touch, but it makes me happy. <sighs> okay. Nope. Okay, can't walk through there. Ah, I think I had a bit too much to drink. <laughs> You're the way. Get. Oh, welcome. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> hey, you're not of the Empire. Get out of here. All these guys say, yeah, baby. <laughs> In any case, you're probably broke. The dancing girls up there doing their little poses and stuff. Those are really cute sprites. I like their hair. Reminds me of a character in Final Fantasy IX. Nuts. These soldiers are absolutely insane. They've taken over my pub. This pub is like an Imperial soldier's dormitory. And then we're back out here. So let's check the weapon shop. There's a guy. 
I am a scholar of weapons. A thousand years ago, during the War of the Magi, two so-called Ultima weapons existed. One changed a person's power into a sword. The other was a terrifying monster bred for mass destruction. Mm. Always gotta be on the lookout for treasures. Okay, we got that Venom Claws. They are weaker than the fire ones, but... May cast poison. Uh, that's all our money. Bastard swords, no! Mm. Well, we need some kashish. There is something I wanted to show you. Um, we are going to avoid the desert. Because the monsters in that desert are bad ass. Alright, so this is that base that guy was talking about to the east. Well, he's Dawn now, he was Ralph before. I don't know, that's not a positive change. Ralph was a great name. Stole a potion. Jump on that guy. And a potion. Okay, so nothing crazy. You know, it's kind of a weird waste. 275. Let's check something out here. Because Edgar has tools, and they are so much better. Uh, let's get him some defense. Ethereal glove. Wait, this does what? Cast protect. Okay, so let's um, let's get him a hyper wrist. We got a bunch of those, right? Yeah, there it is. Or we can get the barrier ring and get the two for there, but uh, hyper wrist is fine. Um, and let's let's for example try uh, instead of the here now, yeah, instead of the white cave now. Yeah, let's get the Dragoon Boots there. Let's see how much of a difference it is. So this place is crawling with Imperials. That guy, I guess, doesn't notice us. But if you run into any of the others, bad shit happens. Now, this is the building we can go into. And look at all that treasure. But it's locked. mess with that dude. Nope. 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 Look at all these soldiers. I don't know why they're not stopping us. Ah. There's that guy. And we have to fight some sergeants. Um. Hopefully that worked. Let's see what Celeste's runic jump does. Tools. That didn't fucking work. Oh, they hit hard. Oh, they hit really hard. Still a 10 from that dude. Ugh, 77. Compared to what, though? So Edgar's doing... Twice as much damage as his drill. And we don't have to wait. <clears throat> but if you were to just attack... Oh, there it casts the fire spell, like it said, at my 59. So it is doing more damage. These guys are just freaking hard. Managed to get that off, nice.
Locke learned Thundara. Edgar learned Regen. Cool. Locke, I believe, is done with Ramu. Chucked out. So even though we beat him, they they kick us out of the Imperial camp here. Okay, let's um let's check out these Espers. Saban's been done with his for a while, right? Yeah, he's got that HP up. Still only at 411, that's wild. Uh, Rama... Well, but he gives us more stamina. So maybe that's part of it. Alright, uh, you can click over on to, uh, nothing to remove it. And we'll trade him out. Maybe that'll help save and get some more HP. How's Celeste doing on Ketchi? Getting there with Float. And with Kieran, we are just waiting on Kira, which he's learning at a, you know, one times rate, so it's going to be a minute. Uh, uh, but he does no magic now. Locke also has that item on that's giving him more hit points, so. Um, let's take a look at the horrible monsters in this desert. No, I didn't want to mug that one. You jump. You drill. That fossil dragon is nasty. Oh, I, I did it wrong. I did it poorly. Let's see if we got standstorm here. Dirt, 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 dirt. Dirt, 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 dirt. That hurt. This guy's hurt. Still the holy water, that's cool. 257, that's really pretty comparable to what Edgar was doing, honestly. Um, okay, cool. They're good. You see how kicked our asses got? Come on, that's not good. Two twenty-seven. Yeah, that's not terrible. I don't think Celeste is who I'd like to have that on. Um, Relic-wise, so let's get her back with the hero's ring. Yeah, let's just work without it for a minute. Edgar's tools are just too useful. Um, also, Edgar, please heal yourself for the love of hell. Uh, you can also see that he's got how long he's got to learn Kira right there on the screen. Um, I would like to do some shopping because we're not going to... After we go to Vector, we're not going to come back here for a while. Where's our money now? Well, that's a bit better. Let's see where it is after this fight. Uh, attack Don. Mug the Wyvern. I could have sworn I took those off of you. I didn't even see what we stole from him. Woof. That hurt a lot. Well, there's us getting low on hit points and casting safe, as promised. Protect. I think it was safe in the original game. I could be wrong about that, though. Okay, they're dropping about over a thousand gil. Let's get on the airship and heal up. This guy is great. Thank you, friend. Let's see where that's going to put us with items. 
Uh, armor first to protect our asses. I think we've got all the armor we needed, but... Yeah, we bought all the priest miters. I've got a white dress, that's fine. So, back to the weapons. <sighs> Bastard swords. Um, yeah, it's even better for Edgar, so we don't really need to be jumping with him right now. Uh, let's get two of those, I guess. Can we afford Venom Claws? Not quite. Oh, you know what I did is I replaced the white cape like a moron. <laughs> okay, bastard sword. No, don't do the priest miner. Keep the green beret. Those hit points, man. And you get a bastard sword. Yeah, what a big change in damage. So no dragoons right now, even though I was very excited for that. But don't worry because we will we'll have a dragoon soon. All right, I really like to get the poison venom knuckle, whatever the hell it was. Um, probably the easiest way to do that would be to fight some horrible desert monster. You know what, though. Save early, save often. Save lives. Oof, two fossil dragons. That's, uh, that's rough. Oof, sandstorm already. That's rough. Cure everybody, please. Uh... I did it wrong. What is for you have? Oh, yeah. Man, Saban with his attacks alone is doing a lot of damage. Mm. You know, we've got some spells we haven't checked out here. Maybe we should do that too. Like, it's old news for me, but... Look at that gill, oh my god. Yeah, let's check out these spells. And uh, for no other reason than to show you guys how cool spells are. And just bugs, that's nice. So, well, we've seen saving cast fire uh, slow. Let's see what that does. Well, I'll tell you what it does because it won't be able to see an effect. It makes them go slower. Um, poison. There's the spell effect. I don't think you have anything new yet. Confuse, we can do that. Um, uh, Poisana, regen, Libra. Oh, Libra's neat. Let's cast Libra. Yeah, it confuses you with chocobos. And now he's turned the other way. Libra um, also used to be known as Scan. Tells you it's level 16. It's got 310 hit points out of 310 hit points. 20 out of 20 magic points. Weak against ice. Weak against water. So now we know. See that damage popped up? That was from uh, poison. Uh, I guess regen on uh, himself. Why not? The used guy hit his friend there, killed him. Here's Locke with uh, Thundara. Um, it used to be like, you know, Thunder, Thunder 2, well actually it was Bolt, Bolt 2, Bolt 3. Oh. Um, but then they went with, uh, the nomenclature they have now, so. That's all the spells Locke has. Have you seen Thunder? Let's see. That was Sleep, which you missed, that's fine. Stone Spine is petrified, oh my god. That's nuts.
Uh, most of that magic. I don't think Imp did anything. I don't think it's going to do anything on these guys either, but we'll cast it. See if it'll go. No. Most of these spells aren't things you're going to end up using. Like, just, just not a lot of call for it. You know, it's going to take so much time and magic points to. Oh shit, she is a zombie. Holy water. And then I think we're gonna have to use a Phoenix down on her. Cause oh no, she's fine. Now Locke is a zombie. Now she's dead. He's hitting himself though, so it's it's fine. He doesn't have anything. You can't steal from Locke. If you could, just imagine. Um where right, Phoenix down. Oh, and it hit him with Sandstorm. Okay, good, it's that side. It's the side that is up. No, it was everyone. <laughs> this is where I didn't want to fight these guys. And we're dead. We're fucking dead. Yeah. So this is what happens when you die. I am so glad I saved, guys. <laughs> now, as you can see, we are not all that gil richer. Um, we still keep the experience, but I don't think we keep the magic, which is what I was referring to earlier. Um, I don't think we've learned any magic since then, so... Let's just go ahead and get to a fight. We can take them once, I'm sure. When I'm not showing off goofy-ass magic. Uh, attack. Attack. No, don't, don't, don't. Thank you. Fucking drill. You fucking attack. Can't cast Sandstorm, so I'm gonna cast... Fucking Cure. Good god, that only did 500 damage. Sabin is down. Oof. I don't know if there's the issue where if they're not standing up, they won't get hit by the cure, but I'd rather not take any chances. Still, I think a sandstorm would take him out, but... Nice. We're about to find out! Ah, Denying him of the sweet XP's. Yeah, if they're not alive when you beat the battle, they don't get their share of the magic points or experience. Let's go back on the ship. Heal up. So this, again, is a great place to grind, because you've got a really quick instant tent, essentially, right there. And you've got these really hard enemies that are worth a lot of money. Do we even have the... Yeah, we have the bastard, so it's okay. I just want to buy these Venom Claws. Because I think they're better than the Kaiser Claws. Yes, they are. Cool. Okay, let's stop mucking around and head to Vector. Edgar just does not have a lot of hit points. Maybe he should be jumping around. 
Well, no, he's got 400. He just keeps getting his ass kicked, I guess. Okay, it's not that long a walk. Going around the other towns is a long walk. Um, but I think this is where I'm going to stop for now. Um, there's a lot coming up, and I'd like to show it to you all at once. There's a lot coming up. So, uh, thank you for joining me as always. Thank you for tolerating my mediocre singing and uh, the voices I can never remember that I, I did just scant hours ago. And, uh... All of my bad decision making. Nah, but we know why you're here. You're here because you are also enjoying uh, either Final Fantasy VI or my experiences with it. And I thank you for being here. And I will see you guys next time. White out. <laughs>